Hey, it's Maria. So I wanted to um, describe a little bit about the painting of the month, Arbol de la Esperanza, which means Tree of Hope. And, um, and I'm here with it right now, as you can see. And I wanted to show you in particular the sides of it because my whole vision with this painting was that the sides drip down the painting, right? It's, okay, so I, first, this is wood. I stained the sides. Um, I stained like, uh, I think some kind of mahogany, I don't know. Um, but I stained it darker and then lighter where I knew I was gonna have the light, the lighter encaustics dripping down it. And this was my first time working or playing with encaustics. So <laughs> it was quite a journey and an adventure. And what I did was, since I didn't have the high tech, or not high tech, but since I didn't have the tools that a lot of encaustic artists used to work with, like um, the heat guns and palettes that remain hot, because you have to keep the wax or the resin at a at a warm temperature so that it it maintains its fluidity so that you can work with it. Well, I didn't have those things, but I really wanted to use encaustics. And I wound up using my grandmother's skillet <laughs> as a palette and then um, some kind of little mini cupcake tin to melt the different colors of wax and resin in and then work with them so that the tin was sitting on the skillet and it would keep it hot so that I could work. Well, I really wanted it to be a flat, kind of a flat surf, like a flat texture. If you see, there's a lot of flat layers in this texture to kind of bring it together and keep it, especially you can see up here, I don't know if, if you can see that detail or not, but um, but I really wanted it, the background to be kind of smooth um, so it wasn't too much, but also have that, that deep texture as well. And so what I did was I, I experimented and I played with a bunch of different methods of how to achieve that texture. And the way that I got it was by using freezer paper. And I, I would put the wax onto the encaustic board, which is heat safe. And I would put the freezer paper on top of it. And then I took my grandmother's iron and I would iron the wax in and move the iron in this shape so that it would get a circular motion fluidly um, and mix the, the colors of wax together actually on the encaustic board itself. Now, now the wax kept sticking to the freezer paper. So what I did was I took, I took an ice cube. I had a, I had a little um, bowl of ice cubes that I would take is I thought, okay, if it's sticking to the freezer paper, I have to somehow get it to release from the freezer paper. How do I do that? Something cold. So I took ice cubes and I would, I would iron the freezer paper with the wax underneath it placed in the position that I wanted it. And then I would, and then I would quickly <laughs> take the ice cube and run it over the freezer paper until the wax resin separated from the freezer paper and I could peel the paper off and I would go around and I would do this and I would do this and I would do this and I got into a rhythm and and that's how the piece was made um it was initially for a woman's show um and there's a deeper story but I'm not going to go into it here but if you want to know it you can reach out to me and ask me um, it's a quite personal story, so I'm not just kind of going to put it out there, but 
Um, but if you, if you're interested, um, reach out to me and I'll talk to you about it and I'll tell you the story. Um, and that's my piece. So, and all of the edges, so even the top, so all of the edges are like this, even the top, the top and bottom edges are like that as well. Um, and I signed it up here in the corner with a little M and the year 14, because I did it in the year 2014 when my daughter was one. <laughs> so it was um, quite an emotional experience and an endearing relationship to the beginning of my work with encaustics. And also, um, in person, people tend to love this work, and so um, I, I might do a series of different color palettes and different trees. So, that's a wrap. Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs> Peace.